this was like one of the main bumpers they did for the trailer for um, episode six. Take a look at this. Mm. They put the chess pieces in line with the king in the middle, and then it has two queens. Now, you know, if I play chess. I think you said you learned how to play chess, too. It doesn't have two queens. But <laughs> if this is highlighting what's to come, what do you think is actually saying? Now, I couldn't really tell if that was Lauren and Diana who's on the end. Somebody said that it was Lauren is one bishop and Diana's the other bishop. That can't be Diana on the other side. I know we got Brayden and we got Kane as your rooks. And then for the Knights, we got Cooper Sacks and Meth McClain. And then the Queens, as you can see, Mary yeah. J and Tariq's mama. Larry, expand only the way you can expand. And mind you, you don't plagiarize like that bum-ass Jabari. <laughs> I couldn't tell who was who was next to Sax on the other side. Let me pull it back up. Let me pull it because that, that's the mystery to me too. So I'm thinking that's Braden. But well, no, I see Braden on the Bra far end. Yeah, Braden's a, a uh, Braden's a, a um, he's a rook. Braden's a rook. The rook. Yeah, wait, Bra I'm trying to remember. Wait, it goes it goes king, queen, bishop, knight. Rook. Night rook, right? Okay, so I yeah. see. Yeah, I see Braden as the I see Braden as the as the rook, but who's the knight on on um on the Monet side? That's I don't know. It looks like a dude. Um, people it been does. trying to say people been trying to say that's Diana. That is not Diana. No, that's not Diana. It doesn't even look like a woman. And, and Diana's more brown skin, and that's a real sort of light skin that's a real person. Fair type person. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. The other side, I could definitely see Tasha. Um, Davis, Met, yeah, uh, Lauren, what do you call Meth McLean? <laughs> yeah, Meth McLean. Everybody's uh, telling Lauren. me that that's Lauren, and then and you got Braden. And then Braden. Yeah. So that's that's interesting that they only had. It looks like on Monet's side, they only had one of her one of her people because it looks like they had. Um, it looks like they had Monet, and then mm -hmm. Sax, and then the mystery person, and then Kane on the end. Right, I'm right. I'm doing that, Kane. Now let, let's let's look at it one more time because somebody said that could be Drew. That is not Drew beside Cooper Sacks. Nah, no, that's not Drew. That, that is not Drew beside Cooper Sacks. So I mean, then, it could be a little prelude into something. So you know, a character we haven't met yet. You know, could be. Or could, maybe it's Simon. Maybe it's Simon Stern's boyfriend or something. Could be him too. I didn't think about Simon Stern's boyfriend, but it could definitely be him. But what is it saying that they don't even have Diana on the board at all? Yeah, I think that just goes to say that she's just, she's not even, well, she's a pawn, I guess, at that point. If that's really what it is, she's just okay. a pawn. Okay. Because all the all the pieces they showed on there are, are named pieces. Everybody else, I guess, in the series are just pawns. Wow. So you so, mean to tell me that Diana Andrew are pawns? Looks maybe right now. Looks like it. Just pawns. Damn. Mm. You know? Mm -mm. I mean, if that's what they're trying to tell us, if by showing that it looks like everybody that's not on that board that's in the show is just a pawn, which is really interesting showing that that uh that uh what's his name? Uh Braden made the board. That was interesting. Braden's up there. Well, I mean, so obviously by having Cooper Sax punk ass Nancy on the board, mm -hmm. he's going to be used. I think th the way they've got this picture scripted, Tariq is the king and he's using everybody that we've seen on the board. So then that leads you to question which queen is going to be the most powerful or are they going to be equal? Because it's like you got one yeah. on this side of Tariq pulling him one way. Then you got the other queen on this side pulling the king this way. Which queen is going to win out? Yeah. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. If I was, if I had to choose a squad, I'm going with I'm I'm going with the squad on the on the side with Braden and them. Because mm. when you look at when you look at that squad, you have you have Tasha, who is, we already know is smart. She's the one that taught, she was saying that she was the one that taught uh, 
Ghost and Tommy the game. She knows the yeah. game, so she knows how to play it. You and know? she can wash the money. She know how to wash the money. She, right. She and then got you have, body. And then you have Cooper. I mean, then you have a uh, Meth McClain, who yep. is one of the is one of the best criminal defense lawyers. So we know that if anybody gets in trouble, he can get them up out of that. Mm-hmm. And then we have then we have Lauren, who's who's obviously smart. You know, she's super intelligent, so she just might need to learn the game. That's all it is. I'm I'm assuming anything she needs to learn, she can learn it. You know, Larry, I got to stop you right there on Lauren. Are you uh, saying that they're going to convert Lauren to this life of crime? Oh yeah, Lauren, Lauren, Lauren knows. I mean, you look at you look at that the fact that she likes Tariq. She knows Tariq is sort of a bad. She knows he's sort of a bad boy. He's always showing up late. He's got all these issues with his family. And like and like uh, when when they went to dinner and they were up there, and her dad was saying, "Oh, we've been following your your case, your family's case in the newspaper. We have been for some time." She, you know, they sit down and they talk about this. She knows that Tariq's family is comes from a, a. from a sort of a sordid background with the dad who's involved in and and possible underworld criminal activity. So this there she knows that Tariq is not just some some square biz dude. She knows that she's getting herself a dude that goes to a good school but sort of a sort of a bad boy. He's probably got more than, you know, more than what she's bargaining for. But I think she likes that. And I think she's probably going to get turned out by Tariq and he's going to ask her to do something. She, but before she does, she's going to get wrapped up with him emotionally a little bit. And then Tariq's going to ask her to do something. She's going to agree to do it. And the next thing she knows, she's going to be wrapped up in all that mess. And she's going to end up liking it. So, hmm. so let, 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 me, let me break this down for you then. Do you think it's safe to say that everybody we just seen in this picture, if you were just popping in, this is the picture we're discussing. We've broken it down. Larry, mm-hmm. is it safe to say that everybody you see that's matching up with a chess piece is going to make it the next season? Oh yeah, definitely. Because okay. we know we know that that Tariq's safe. Tariq's no definitely safe. That Meth McLean's going out. We know nope. he needs to be safe because he has to continue to, with Tasha's defense. Mm-hmm. There's no reason right now for Lauren to get touched at all. She hasn't done anything, so she'll be there. Braden. I don't see anybody touching Braden. Braden's got that white privilege protection around him. No one would dare touch him right now. I mean, the police yep. didn't even want to touch him. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. But, if Braden gets taken out, Braden's gonna have, probably have to get taken out by by someone that's way higher up on the food chain or somebody who's so low on the food chain they just don't know or don't care. Right. You know. So, and then on the other side, you have that same thing going on a little bit with Monet. Monet Monet's safe because she's Tahada's, you know, wife. And right. if you mess with Tahada's wife, Tahada's gonna have to come at you with everything just to save face. Even if he doesn't care about her, he's gonna have to save face just to protect his own image. And then you have Cooper Sachs, who's a who's an ADA. There's no no one's touching. I mean, actually, I think he's a, a AG at this point. No mm-hmm. one's no one's gonna. Well, he's still an ADA because he's not the head AG, but he's leading up the New York division. No one's touching him. I mean, that's just that's a federal crime. The whole government will come down on you with a vengeance. And then we don't know who that is next to him. So I don't know. I'm assuming because we don't know who that person is, they're going to be introduced probably in the next episode or two, you know. And so that person's probably safe because they're not going to bring him in, put him on the poster as this integral part of the story, and then just wipe him out real quick. Right, and right. Kane, I think Kane's going to be there for the long haul because I think Kane's probably going to be – I think Kane's going to flip sides. I think he's going to end up going over to Tariq's side. So – Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be, I think he'll be safe. Uh, so I think everybody else is not safe. All the Diana, Drew, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Braden's brother. I mm-hmm. think all those people are at risk of getting killed. The cop. Oh, that could be the cop. Hell no, that's not the cop. Let, that let, let, the cop. Let's take a look again. Let's let's look again. That That's not the cop. That nah, could be the cop. N- no, man, no. Whoever that is, he's a little bit more bulkier than the cop. That's not yeah. the cop. That's not the cop. Definitely ain't the yeah. cop. But, be- but before I get into the next um, power discussion, let me shout out my folk who just super chat, super sticker, D'Angelo Washington. I appreciate that, homie, because it'd be hard on a player up here sometimes. And my folk, no. Buzz 703 who always hold me down. Now, what? Well, let me see. What can I give you guys combined to say thank you, to make you laugh, 
to to say, hey, when you super chat me, I recognize you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go back to this one. This one made Larry laugh the last time I did it. <laughs> we just talk about practice. We sitting here. I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice, not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Practice. Not a game. We're talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? Man, we're talking about practice. Practice? We're talking about <laughs> practice, man. We're, talk we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> practice? <laughs> practice? <laughs> We're not talking about the game. We're talking about practice. Practice. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for that super chat, man. And um, y'all ain't just practicing super chatting. Y'all are super chatting, and I appreciate you know? it. So um, let's talk about oh, this. Since we've been talking about it, since we're on the basketball thing for a hot yeah. second, what's up with yeah, your yeah. Miami squad? <laughs> we're getting that ass Move beat. On. <laughs> That's what's up with it. <laughs> <laughs> We in there getting that ass beat like a toddler who got caught eating out the cookie jar. <laughs> I told you don't mess with my LA team, man. Get, man, stop it. I ain't never heard you say anything about sports since we've been. LA. It all don't my, matter. It don't matter. I'm from Greenville. Do you hear me supporting the Greenville Hornets? No, 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 no. no. Because, no. because you know better. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> man. Golly. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got one more thing we want to cover in regards to power. Then we're going to move on to the politics because there's some rough stuff out there. We want to equip you guys with knowledge and some entertainment. One thing that's very peculiar about that splice and the chessboard, they have Tariq being the king for what we're going to assume is his clan, but also the king for the Tejadas. So does that mean Larry somehow, some way, Reek is going to be able to take out the king of the Tejadas, which is Lorenzo? Maybe. I mean, let's be real. We're only seeing one king on that board. So it really, when you look at it, it's going to be two teams fighting basically to, to save and preserve the one king. That's it. Tariq is safe no matter what. Mm -hmm. So if he wants to go after Tejada, he's going after Tejada. He's going to end up okay. If Tejada wants to come after him, Tariq, Tariq is still going to be okay. If Tariq decides to let Tejada keep doing his thing, Tariq's still going to be okay. There's, in every scenario, Tariq is still going to be okay. So, so I, th I think it's very safe. Damn, Kato, be know? more careful. Kendall in the building with you know? a $20 super chat. You there know we what? Go. I'm gonna have to give you two, okay? Let me. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you get two back to back. So for such a generous super chat, let me give you. Let me give you this one first. Just. <laughs> okay. So that's number one. I down like what happened? <laughs> don't, don't twirl from a pole that ain't secured to a ceiling. That's number one. And number two Ooh. for you is this one right here. Because what you've done is very sexy. I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> I believe the children are our future. Thank you. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Love of all. Inside of me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check the <laughs> God damn that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. You must be crazy. <gasps> and damn, Kendall can super chat. Twenty dollars. We appreciate you, family. Thanks for the support. Um, we, we try to come up here and make sure we're consistent in bringing you guys as much entertainment with good real life information. I know a lot of people don't do it on YouTube because they're afraid of growth. They're afraid of who they might offend.
But me and Larry, we know our heart is in the right place. We know we're trying to support our people and all people as best we can. And we're appreciated with y'all super chatters like that. It keeps us going. We really, really appreciate that. All right, Larry, last point on power. Then we got to move on to some real deal, serious issues going on in the country we live in that we have thought about escaping. Okay. Before we, before we go on real quick, you know what could solve all of Tariq's problems with this? All um, he needs to do. He called in Tommy. Tariq, huh? He called in Tommy and say he's sorry. Well, well Tommy would help him. Tommy would, Tommy would definitely help him because Tommy – would come in there and do some regulate and he would probably help to get his, his connect set up. So we have to keep worrying about dealing with Monet and then he would probably get him a steady connect, but Tommy brings in his own host of problems, even though he'll solve some, he'll bring some more in. Mm -hmm. But if he really wants to solve all of his problems and do it definitively once and for all, all he has to do is call in Killmonger. Yeah. Killmonger will come in there and get rid of all of his competition he will liberate him and all of the other folks out there that have been held down by our oppressors. And Killmonger will come out and just put his place. And for and Killmonger is the rightful ruler of Wakanda. He'll just come in there and take he politely take Tariq off that throne, set him over in a different position, and take the and take his place because he is the rightful ruler as he should be. For those of you that are new, this, this, this is what Larry's asking for. For those of you that are new, take, just sit through this. Yeah, go ahead and burn all that. My king, we cannot do that. It is our tradition. <laughs> when I tell you to do something, I mean that shit. Burn it all! Burn it all! 